with a lady, don't you say maybe You and I can leave right now, now Let's get naked, shake your money maker Baby, I'ma show you how to it's as easy as one. Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I am here to review We're the Millers. We're the Millers stars Jason Sudeikis, Jennifer Aniston, Emma Roberts, Nick Offerman, Luis Guzman, and Ed Helms. This film is about when Jason Sudeikis, he plays a pot dealer, and Ed Helms, who plays his boss, he tells him that if he gets a smidge of pot down from Mexico and brings that stash to him, He's going to pay him a shitload of money. But in order for Jason Sudeikis to cross the border, he needs to have a fake family come in. Jennifer Aniston, who plays a stripper. Whew, yeah, wow. Emma Roberts, who's this very tough punk, and this kid, who's his next door neighbor, plays a normal kid. We're the Millers, I gotta be honest. It's actually not as bad as I thought it would be, but I still think it's a bad film. Jason Sudeikis, he does do a good job here. He is enjoyable. Emma Roberts, she plays a role we've never seen her in before. In the past, we've seen Emma Roberts play the good girl, but in this film, you see her be bad, you see her cuss. So it's interesting to see Emma Roberts go in that bad girl territory. The actor, I don't know his name, the one who plays the normal kid, basically the virgin, I think he was actually pretty enjoyable here. He had a couple of funny lines, mainly during this one very funny moment with the t with the tarantula and a bit his, you know what. Jennifer Aniston, she's really enjoyable here. And yes, seeing those few scenes of her being a stripper and just being sexy as hell, yeah, that's pure entertainment all right. It doesn't matter how old she is, she's very attractive. I can't lie, she really is attractive. I've always thought she was a very beautiful actress. Luis Guzman had a scene in this film. I thought he was pretty good, although that scene, I will say, it is uncomfortable for me. Thank God, whatever was gonna happen in that one scene, it didn't really happen. I gotta give props to Ed Helms. He actually did a good job playing a dick in this film. Nick Offerman, he does a really good job here. He had a few pretty funny moments. The only one I absolutely fucking hated was the wife of Nick Offerman in this film. The one that's always like, hi, oh, can I see your baby? Oh, look at that, it's so cute. It's like, bitch, shut up. I couldn't stand her. She was so annoying. Every time she pops in the scene, I was like, oh. I, of course, I had to hold in my anger because I was sitting at the Dollar Theater watching this film, but just listening to her voice and seeing that crazy face of hers, oh man, it just pissed me off. That was definitely one of my major issues with We're the Millers. Now, the reason I think this film is so bad, yes, I will admit, here and there, there are actually funny moments, but for the most part, the jokes in this film, they just felt lazy. I think they try too hard with the raunchy humor sometimes, and it's fine to get raunchy, it's fine for you to get offensive, and all that stuff, but I just feel like what the script is giving these actors, but the jokes, they just fall flat, like, miserably, and they were horrible jokes, they would make me cringe a lot. The movie is predictable as hell, and this is stuff you see in R-rated comedies a lot, where you get like at least one action scene. Like when Ted had that action scene near the end, that one was necessary to me because that added something to the story. The action scene that they had with Where the Millers, that added absolutely nothing to the film, and it was just another unnecessary gimmick for the film to be longer, because obviously they needed to add more stuff. I just felt like they could have been more creative. It's stuff you've seen a lot of times in R-rated films. It was a poorly executed film. It was a badly written film. A lot of moments either bored me, made me roll my eyes, or made me pissed off. I mainly get pissed off every time that fucking annoying bitch pops in the screen. Whew. One of the worst films I've seen this year. I know some people think this film is absolutely hilarious. I've had friends tell me that this was a funny as hell film. And if you enjoy Where the Millers, I can sort of understand why. And if you enjoy it, you enjoy it. But for me, it just could have been so much better, so much more creative. I give Where the Millers one and a half out of four stars. The film sucks, so 
Yeah. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on this film, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!